da, 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 loot kit producer, which I really do need to figure out how to use this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it out here for now, uh, right in the middle, and I'm going to take this, right click, book the well. Now if I look, loot kit producer, sneak to view. So if I sneak while I'm holding this book, view entry. And I right click and pow, there's the instructions on how to use it. Loot Kit Producer creates loot kits that when left alone in the floor or right clicked, hatch into precious random mob loot. The Loot Kit Producer will spawn loot kits directly above it, randomly and requires a large amount of energy. It may be turned off, uh, a large amount of energy, uh oh. It may be turned off by providing a redstone signal. But if you need some specific loot, you can always craft the mob specific loot kits, which will hatch into that mob specific loot. Hmm. I could make some blaze loot, a blaze loot kit, but I don't know how many rods that'll give me. I think in order to make this, I will need two blaze rods. I don't know if that would be enough. This is why I actually saved this thing is so that I could craft with it in a situation like this where I don't have the power set up and everything. If I can use this, that's three for the blaze. That's three red, one yellow and more crystals three red one two three one yellow and four of the nether crystals one two three four and for those that are curious why i don't just scroll the mouse wheel it's because it keeps on picking up stacks or only doing partial amounts or something really weird like that so let's make it see what i get do i need to take the long route or can i take a shortcut let's find out I got two. I got two. I, that's, just, that's all I needed. <laughs> I'm pretty happy about that. I'm going to put these tools back in here, the, the rod and the partially filled rod. This is good news. Okay, so I could I could make, if I unless I drop it, of course. I don't want to drop it. I can make these now. Um, that's going to just require some cobblestone to make those, uh, which I've got cobblestone here. One, two, three, one, two, three. And I should be able to make those lickety splits. Two of the brewing stands. Oh, I had the materials the entire time. And let's see what this brewing stand looks like. Oh, it looks so good. I like this texture. Man, that's smart. I like that. I really want. I want this texture pack. This is really good. It's very magical and very clean and and pretty. Anyway, um, making the alchemy catalyst, mana pearl. I have. And pearls now. I can put the rest in here for now. That I can oh, use. Uh, I almost went into the wrong area. Just dropping it on a mana pool here. Oh, it's already almost full. That's excellent. All right. This is a pretty good setup I've got going on. Mana pearl done. So then to make this, I need two gold, some living rock. I've got the, the living rock. Do I have enough gold? Yes. There we go. It looks like I had double digits in gold. I couldn't quite read it. And there. Alchemy catalyst. Get. <laughs> oh, okay. So I feel I'm going to put it in this one because this one is just my charging pool, I think, at this point. And this one is going to be the one I'm going to transfer with because I keep on tossing stuff in it as it is. Or do I? Because then that would mean everything is going to be transformed that gets put in there. Mm, I'll do it anyway. All right. And we'll just drop it there. And then I just take the dirt that I've got, place that back down. And there we go. Uh, now, what is this used for? <laughs> I think there were certain uses that I had for it. Oh, the dimension catalyst. I can do that too. I've got one blaze powder. I need to make more nightmare fuel. How much nightmare fuel do I have? I have one. <laughs> How is it that I make these again? I forget. Oh, tossing coal into a mana pool. I could make that. Uh, but what is the use for this to make the dimension catalyst is the other one. Which would be really cool. I could make the dimension catalyst next, which is also one of the things I need to do to get the next achievement. So I think that's actually what I'm going to do, uh, is grab that other piece of... Oh no, I used it in the rod! No! 
Oh no! Oh, that's what I get. That's what I get. Blaze powder. Is there a recipe for that that I can make besides the separator? Not really. Not really. Okay. I'm pretty much screwed in that that aspect. Fair enough. I need to work my way towards towards the other stuff. <laughs> Now, on the other hand, though, instead of working on those machines like I've been talking about trying to do for a while now, I do have the option for making a mana rune or a rune of mana with a mana pearl. Now, it only makes one, but still, it's a thing, and I could do it. So let's grab another ender pearl, which I really like the looks of the ender pearls too because they're purple. Everything here is pretty much just this glowing magical purple, which is really nice. There we go. Now, if I put this in here. All right, it'll just turn it into a mana pearl. It won't go nuts. Okay. And then I put this on here along with a bunch of mana steel. One, two, three, four, I think one more. Five. Yes. And then I just need the living rock and my wand of the forest. And of course it's replenishing the, uh, moving the mana down <laughs> from this. Just a little bit longer. There we go. Now, drop it, smack it, and I now have Root of Mana, ba -ba -ba -ba, which I can now lock this last drawer. Grab that, lock it, and put it back. Cool. So with these, one, two, three, four, five, I can use them to make the Terrestrial Agglomeration Plate, which is going to be... <laughs> A little bit interesting of an item. I don't think I have enough lapis here, and I need to get rid of some of this stone. Actually, before I go too far, what I should do is mine this up, put down another set, uh, and then put away a bunch of this stone. <laughs> I'm going to clear out my inventory. I'll be back in a minute. All right, so I have cleared out my inventory a little bit. Not a lot, but a little. And I now have enough to create a terrestrial agglomeration plate, I believe. Yes, I do. Ba -ba -ba. Quest completed. Which actually, let's take a look at the quests. Yes, I have been completing them. Doing all right. I still need this one here, the Dimension Catalyst. As you saw, it's still got a little bit of a sticking point there. Um, but where to put this? Because it needs to be powered <laughs> with mana. Hmm, I could just have it here. But I think use for this is going to be, it's supposed to, whoa, a Gaia agglomeration play. Um, I need to actually build this. Let's set it down. And I'm going to do the old faithful here, because I think the Lexica Britannia, left shift, right click, uh, Terra Steel. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, there we go. So I'm going to need to make like a little visualization area here. So let's click on this, and I think if I put it here, it's it's going to be really awkward there. In any place I put it there. Unless I set it here, it could be right in the middle. That could be pretty cool. I like that. All right, right click to anchor. There we go. So I'm going to need four more blocks of lapis, five living rock, and the agglomeration plate itself. So let's grab this. I should have some more of this ready and waiting. I also have my wand, so I can just place that. Uh, but I will need more of the uh, lapis, which actually I, I need to make more of. So I will be back once that's done. Now, I actually made two of the heavy core stabilizers just because I got a little bit tired of uh, having to, you know, do this. Oh, I didn't even see that. Maybe I put this down just to be sure, and then I don't place any blocks there by accident either. But, um, and I just placed those before I needed to. I mean, sure, I can place the the uh, bits, these little bits first, or second, but I like to just be able to go plonk, plonk, and then you've got all four going at the same time, and then you just vein mine the entire, or, or excavate the entire thing up. It's good. So once this is done, I'll be over there and we'll set up the next Terra Steel production. Now keep in mind that I realize I still have other things that I was working on here. 
and that involves a terra terra bozu, but I will get to that in due time. Let's take these out. I don't even care about those blocks so much. Two, three, and four. And then I need some living rock. Uh, that's not living rock. That's living rock. Uh, put this down. Oh, I need to keep mining out these bits. <laughs> it's so weird seeing the hologram there. I think that I'm going to be okay, but I know that there's actually nothing there. Living rock, living rock, living rock, living rock, living rock, and then the agglomeration plate itself. Da -da 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 -da. Structure complete. Which then I think I actually need to have another mana spreader aiming at it for that to happen. Best way to go about it though is with a spark. Sparks are really going to make it work. Um, but let's actually get a little bit of food in me real quick. And as it's nighttime and it's not raining, I figure this is the... And it's also not a blood moon. <laughs> I figure this is the best time that I could possibly choose to make a Terra Terra Bozu <laughs> at this point. Because I think a sunflower uh, is made with... There, there it is, the alchemy catalyst. Any kind, like an oxide daisy. How do I make an oxide daisy? Oh, that's right. Any any flower, you just keep tossing it in. Let's take one of these red ones here. And if I toss this in properly, there we go. No, we keep tossing these in until we get the right flower. Nope. 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 There we go. I've got the daisy. So now... <laughs> With these two pieces of mana cloth and the daisy, or and the the, the sunflower, we can get a tarot tarot bozu. Finally, oh, I've actually got oh, that's a spot up there for the wand. Um, let's put him. Where do we want to put him? We can put him above here. That would be pretty cool. Let's put him above there. It's cute, super cute. And then you just feed it. Um, oh, I've got an oxide daisy. You just feed it. Uh, sunflowers whenever it's raining. Uh, for now though, I think what I'm going to do is keep rotating through until I have at least one of the, there we go, one of these, and then I can put that here. Beautiful. And then feed it to him when he's ready. In the meantime, he's just going to kind of float around, looking around at the universe. Pretty cute. <laughs> Finally made it. Gosh, I didn't think that would ever happen. So this I don't even know. I think it only works with sparks. I can't remember. Uh, left shift. Let's open. Mana needs to be provided to this block with sparks being the most effective method. It doesn't say that that's the only method. And of course, that also means that I would need uh, ender pearls and other things like that in order to make uh, terra steel, I believe, to make the ingot on an agglomeration plate. Yeah, diamond and mana steel, not a problem. It's the pearl. That's going to be the problem. And that's a really cool picture. That's pretty cool. It shows you all the blocks. I like that. All right. So anyway, let's open this back up into the quest book and see where we're doing. It says next you do Terra Steel. <laughs> it just is like you do Terra Steel next. There is, no, there is no other. So let's work with the loot possibilities here. I have to make some power. Which means that I need to go into the machines section. Um, I made the crystal before. Which I don't see anything about. It's mystical, nature magic, ender IO. Which of course would be good to have ender pearls first. So I think what I'm going to need to do is go over here to the machines. I got the power crystal. I need an Asul machine case. I made those. And then make these different things. Block setter, block boxer. Separator, Precision Grinder, Anti-Gravity Block, Former, a Gravity Block, Mystical or Puller, Charger. I think that is what I'm looking for. This thing here. This machine can recharge power crystals using various materials. Can use the next materials to recharge power crystals. Can use the next materials. To mysterious dust, leaves, rods, crystal catalyst, bucket of liquid souls, imprisoned light. Interesting. All right. So let's go grab this power crystal over here that currently has some power in it. I don't know what happens with it. Um, and if I grab it, just sneak right click and it, it 
pops into my hand. We can go over here into the mob farm area. And what happens if I just like put this? No, that didn't work. What happens if I put this on top? Anything? I don't know how these work. There's no right click on it. I should probably find out. Let's look it up. No, oh, it's working. It's just instantly working. <laughs> okay. It is making me Luke stuffs. So how do I vacuum this stuff up? Uh, a hopper hawk would be nice. I'm going to let that produce some stuff while I go get a hopper hawk. I think that would be a nice use of Batania stuffs. Especially if I make it a little floating one. That would be especially good. Uh, let's see, what do we have a lot of? We've got a lot of these lime green ones. So we'll come, or the regular green ones. So floating. Flower. Uh, how do you make a floating one? Oh, pasture seed dirt. Okay. That's not a problem. I think I've got some pasture seeds over here. Uh, in... Nope. Nope. This chest. Regular pasture seed. And then I've got some dirt in here. And I can combine... Oh, I can't do this in this inventory. It's not big enough. Uh, here. 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 No? Uh, I forget what it is to make a floating flower. Okay, so this on the bottom, this on top, that on top of that. Okay, that's not working. Glimmering flower. Oh, I forgot. I need glowstone, which is what in here? Yeah, I've got a bit one too. So let's take these out. Mix these together. There we go. Glimmering green flower. Ridiculous. There we go. Floating green flower. And then I can combine that with like a hopper hawk or some other flower and turn it into whatever one I want, basically. Which is pretty cool. So there we go. Floating green flower. For now, I think it also creates light because it's glimmery. But it's pretty darn cool one way or another. And I want to make a hopper hawk. <laughs> There's also the petite. <laughs> but um, the hopper hawk is what? Two gray, two light gray, air, and a redstone root. So I think we can make that. Let's try it. Oh, is this thing already done? Oh, it filled up so quick. All right. Um, which, of course, I'm going to need more enderpearl stuff. Let's see, air. Uh, I'm going to need a bit of redstone, a bit of grass. Uh, we can do this plus this for the redstone root. What else do we need for the hopper hawk? Two gray, two light gray. Should be a problem. That's a problem. I only have a little bit left. Do I have some shears? I do. And some bone meal. I do. Oh, wow. Okay, unexpected. But now I can bone meal this, shear it, turn that into more petals. One, two, three four bone meal bone meal uh actually i might hold off on that for a second because i want to make sure i've got enough light gray. yeah i do one two that's fine so then i can bone meal these ones as well good to go and turn all those into more petals there we go one two and i've got these two of the other ones here and I've got the redstone root. I've got the air rune. Is it made in a apothecary? It is. And I just need a seed. Where'd my seeds go? There they are. Got it. Now, one, or Q, 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 and seed. Q, hopper hawk, one of the most useful critters there are. I need a chest um let's go over this way and make one real quick doesn't have to be anything real fancy uh do i have anything in my wood area trap chests those are perfect okay so now i can combine this and this make it a floating hopper hawk and i can put down the chest first put the hopper hawk on top of that and then I can put this, actually what I can do, 
Let's put this behind here. And put this on top. I don't think it's actually going to feed into it because I think it has to be next to it. Um, let me actually walk away. It still has power. It's still producing stuff. Did I only get the one loot base kit? Or loot kit base? That's it. It's not actually producing much. I can't do this because I currently have my magic pouch here. Let's put my magic pouch inside. Try throwing something up here. It does not seem to be picking up things there. Oh, it is. It is. It's picking it up in an area. And it's going in. Excellent. It's even taking the loot kits. Sweet. Do they have different... Do they have uh, different uh, NBT data? Oh boy. That could be interesting. I might need to upgrade that uh, that chest real quick. <laughs> Let's put some of this gunpowder in here, which I can turn into... Where is it? Altar of Birthing? No. Uh, runic Altar. Mana Infusion. I can turn it into Flint. Mana Powder. Oh, I thought I could turn it into Blaze Powder for some reason. Anyway, that's still really cool. I have made some progress. I feel pretty good about this so far. I look like a really weirdo, really big weirdo with my, my armor and my face mask going on here, but, you know, sometimes you just got to change things up. 